Hi there, I'm here today to talk about Honda Rebel 125 carburetors. This is a Honda Rebel 125 carb. Basically, there's only a couple of adjustments that can be made on these. You've got your idle mixture screw, which is underneath the carb next to the cylinder head, and you've got your idle speed throttle stop screw, which is on the side. Now, when you go for modifications on your 125, like fitting pod filters, these carbs can be a pain to set. Uh, basically, it's very hard to get the idle right without the screw actually falling out. So, what I found over the course of working on two Rebel 125s is that the cheap Honda CG 125 carburetors from he eBay, which cost about £15, make a vast improvement. And the reason being is that the Venturi on the Honda CG carb is much larger, so is the slide, allowing for a lot more flow. Also, on the Honda C CA125, the main jet in these is a 95. In the CG, although, the, although it's a Chinese copy and there's no measurements on the jet, from what I can work out with my jet cleaning wires, it's about 103 main. So altogether, it's a much better flow than you'd get with the Honda Rebel 125. But it has the same adjustments, same bolt pattern will fit straight on. Now, the other adjustment inside these carbs is the clip. You getting all of this? Here we have the slide mechanism and needle from inside it. Now, to get this apart, it's a little bit fiddly. You have to compress the spring and get the wire out the bottom, which is never easy. I'm having a fingers and thumbs moment, which I typically do when there's a camera on me. Right, okay. Now, I've got to get that wire out. really having a, a moment here when I've done this in the practice before this video it all went so well all right okay and there's the wire out put the spring to one side for a moment now the needle here goes into your main jet if you look inside there's a little clip in there if we push the needle the little clip comes out have somewhere safe to put these things as you're working now on the needle you will see there's a little washer and there's little slots. The nearer the washer is to the bottom, the higher the needle lifts out of the jet. This increases the petrol. The nearer the top the clip is, the leaner it gets. So the needle will be down in the carb. So nearer the top, lean. Nearer the bottom, richer. At the moment on this Honda CG model carb, I've got it set quite close to the bottom and that runs quite nicely for me now putting this back together <laughs> the needle goes back in then you've got to get this little clip in again another little fiddly job it just takes a little patience push it down and it seats on top of the washer holding it in place now the spring has to go back together Again, it's a fiddly job and it might take you a couple of goes. Be patient, swear at it if you have to, because I usually do, but I won't because I'm on a video this time. Then get the wire through the slot and let the spring go, push it down, and hook the wire back into its location. Now, that hasn't gone right, so I'm going to take that part and do it again. You've got to make sure that the wire goes firmly through the middle. In this case, I've put the clip in the way. Yeah, so I'm just going to move that clip around a little bit. Or take it out and do it again.
as I say, it's a fiddly little job. It's just one of the things you have to be patient with. Try that a second time. Okay, now when you put it back in the carb, there's a slot on the side that lines up with that idle speed screw, throttle stop screw. So it should sit in there nicely. Make sure it goes back on good and tight. And I can now put the carb back on the bike. You can stay there for a minute, I just put a nut on this side. It's exactly the same process as that side, so no different, it's just a nut like me. <coughs> It's only when you're being filmed that you realise how awkward some of these things are to get to. Some couple have mentioned at this point, the Honda CG125 car doesn't come with the choke link linkage of the Honda Rebel. You just have to swap them over from one car to the other. They all interchange. They have basically the same car. car the CG is just slightly bigger in its flow capacities. <laughs> Right, okay. Filter back on. Now, when you put a pod filter on these bikes, typically you have to give it a bash with a hammer because the frame rails stop it from fitting perfectly. Bash with the hammer, won't hurt it. It won't do it any harm whatsoever. As I have found out, because I've bashed quite a few of them. Right, okay. We're all back on. Now, anyone doing any carb adjustments, there's a couple of things you need to check first. You need to go online, if you're not familiar with it, and look for motorcycle spark plug colour charts. You should always check your spark plug colours. Now this one, although a bit dirty, I've had it in and out a few times today, is close. Maybe a little lean, but it's close to what it should be. So, before ever doing any adjustments on your carburetor, make sure you've checked the colour of your plug to see what it's actually doing. Is it lean? Is it rich? Is it oil fouled? It, a plug will tell you a lot about your engine. The other thing that you need to check before doing any work on a carburetor, on any bike, is your throttle. There should always be a small amount of free play before the throttle engages. The reason for this is if you've got your cable adjusted too tightly, and you turn a corner, that cable could become under tension and be revving without you even giving it any throttle. So always make sure you've got free play at your throttle. Now, whenever adjusting a car, you should also go for about a 20 mile ride beforehand. Get the engine nice and warm, some stop, stop start traffic and a couple of open roads where you can give it a good blast. Get the engine nice and warmed up before you even start trying to do any adjustments. Now, because I've been working on the bike, I've had to let it cool down. So we're gonna pause this video and I'm just gonna warm her up for a couple of minutes and then I'll try and do some adjustments to show you what's, what's needed to be done.
example. Now, ideally, you want to go for about a 20 mile ride before you start trying to do any work on a carburetor. You want it quite nice and, nice and warm. Unfortunately, where I've been showing you other parts on this bike, I've just had to let it run for a couple of minutes to get it warm, but I know what my settings are, so I'm quite happy to do it this way. Now, as I said, the idle mixture screw is adjustable here. Me, I went to Maplin's and got a couple of little screwdrivers and just cut the handles off. I always keep a couple of these around for tinkering around with carbs because it is a sod to get to. Once on the bike, it's right in here and underneath. Uh, I did put a bit of carb there to stop me burning my hand, but I'm gonna have to do it like this. Now, before you do any work on the idle, you need to know what it's set at. Now, I'm gonna turn this half a turn at a time. Half, one, half, two, two and a quarter, and it's seated. You don't have to overly tighten it. If you do, you'll do damage. So now it's seated at the carb. I'm gonna turn it out one full turn. One, two. I'm now gonna try and start the bike and see what happens. Petrol on. So I'm going to bring it out another full turn. All right, one, two, try it again. Now I'm going to bring it out another full turn to where I had it. Now bear in mind this bike has been really warmed up. Now I'm going to go for the idle speed screw, or throttle stop screw. I'm just going to turn it backwards so it's coming out. What this does, the slide will start to drop. That means less air is coming out. In fact, I'll give that. I'm now going to turn this out another quarter turn, so we're at about two and a half turns. Sounds about right. I'm going to let off the throttle stop just a little bit until less air is getting in. Right, I'm now going to bring it back in until it starts to rev a little bit. Now you can hear it getting higher. screw is awkward to get to on the bike so from seated fully in yeah it's hard to do a full rotation so you do a half one oh went off the tracks there half two typically on these idle screws if you go past three turns out you should be looking at a new idle jet because at uh, three turns, there's a risk it will vibrate out of the bike. So, that's it explained. Basically, the Honda Rebel Carb is a good little carb, fine for your stock airbox, runs very lean. The Honda CG Carb, Honda CG125 Carb, is a much better option, flows a lot better with a pod filter and cut exhausts. I hope this helped somebody. I'll just add as a quick uh, end note, 
There is no more power to be gained from a 125 or 250 engine. But what you are looking at is getting your carb running to optimal, optimal performance with your spark plug. The colour of your spark plug is always the teller. So once you've done any adjustments, check your throttle has still got free play. Right? Ideally do this with the engine on, turn your handlebars, make sure it don't spike and rev all of a sudden. That means your throttle cables like snagging a bit, it's too tight. Check your throttle cable, take it for a ride, 20 miles, 30 miles, have fun, especially in the sun, check your spark plug colour. Then you'll see if the colour need the, the colour will tell you whether you need to adjust the idle or the airflow again to get a better burn. Hope this helps someone.